Compared to most other parts of the country, Maine is not a racially diverse state. But as recent protests and the pandemic have shown, we still have problems with racial bias and inequality. Now, a group of Mainers made up of all races is looking for ways to change that and to do some of it quickly. Here's News Center Maine's Don Kerrigan. When hundreds of Mainers took to the streets saying Black Lives Matter, initial focus may have been on the police, but racial inequities go far beyond that. For Molly and Dana, tribal ambassador for the Penobscot Nation, racism showed itself when she started high school in Bangor. That was when I started to learn about, you know, that I was different from the rest of Maine. You know, I think there was three students of color at John Bass. You know, I have this unusual name. So that kind of set me up for a lot of, you know, I had a teacher call me Frank. <laughs> because he refused to learn how to pronounce my name. So it didn't feel discriminatory, but, but it definitely didn't feel good. For other Mainers of color, it may be discrimination with health care or work or the judicial system. Those are the issues the Permanent Commission on Racial, Indigenous and Tribal Populations is hoping to confront. The commission is going through more than 400 bills still waiting for action in the legislature. It is unprecedented. Um, you know, as a ninth generation African-American Mainer, I've not heard of this level of discussion, uh, this uh, level of commitment. And Commission Chair Rachel Talbot Ross says they want to identify some bills that can help Maine minorities right away. She highlights three big ones. Greater tribal sovereignty for Maine's Native Americans, bias in the health care system, and reforming the bail process in the courts. Health care inequities, she says, have led to many Mainers of color hit by the coronavirus. Race is an indicator for health outcomes. There's no debate about that. Um, what we have not done in the state of Maine is made that explicit in our strategies to combat health inequities. Ambassador Dana says the experience of Maine's tribes may be different from that of new immigrants, but that all people of color in Maine still face bias, problems the commission hopes can be overcome through laws, government action, and social change. The trick to all of that is convincing people that when your most vulnerable in your society are falling through the cracks and aren't being taken care of, your society overall is suffering. Um, your children are learning to not care about people just because they're a minority and there's not that many of them. Um, and those children will grow into people that, that may not know respect or honor. She says facing up to some of those hard issues now will help make life better for all of Maine. The commission will deliver its report to the legislature early next month. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.